Welcome to the SR Nexco video tutorials. The purely light curing lab composite from Evo Clarvivadent allows you to design framework based and framework free prosthetic restorations. These video tutorials show you how to use SR Nexco. Select the chapter that covers the indications for which you want to use SR Nexco. SR Nexco can be used for various framework free restorations. These restorations include inlays, onlays, anterior crowns, and veneers. This chapter shows you how to use SR Nexco to create an inlay. First, fabricate a working model with a detachable die as a working basis. It is recommended that you apply model sealer to treat the surface and protect the die. Next, the dies and adjoining parts of the model are sealed. Apply SR model separator in two coatings. Make sure that all areas of the die are well covered. Please also isolate the adjoining model surfaces. Allow the individual coatings to react for three minutes each. To achieve the desired tooth shade, please observe the liner combination table. Basically, the liner is applied in two coatings. Apply the first layer of liner in a thin coating to the cavity walls and to the cavity floor. Do not cover the marginal areas at this step. Pre-cure each segment for 20 seconds using a quick pre-curing light. Now apply the second coating of liner. At this stage, apply liner incisal to the marginal areas and along the course of the enamel. All cavity surfaces should now be coated with liner. The thickness of the liner coating should be at least 150 microns. It is important that you now apply the liner up to the preparation margin to ensure a reliable bond between the preparation margin and the looting composite. Finally, pre-cure each segment again for 20 seconds. Please note that polymerized SR Nexco liner should not be separated from the die. The liner is now pre-cured. Thoroughly remove the resulting inhibition layer using a disposable sponge. Now the actual layering procedure begins. Press the first layer of Nexco paste firmly onto the liner surface to ensure an effective bond between the liner and the composite. To increase the shade effect in the interdental area and cavity, you may want to use a clusal dentin. Then pre-cure each segment again for 20 seconds using a quick pre-curing light. Slightly emphasize the marginal ridges with dentin. Subsequently, build up the dentinal plateau with dentin materials. To intensify the shade effect, apply characterizations with SR Nexco stains and cover them with incisal and effect transpa layering materials. Pre-cure the areas that you have built up with Nexco by illuminating each segment again for 20 seconds with the quick. Subsequently, establish a lifelike occlusal morphology and pre-cure all areas for 20 seconds using the quick. For the final polymerization, apply a layer of SR gel onto the entire Nexco surface. Make sure